Hello and welcome to the channel. I am Hamna. So in today's video tutorial, I am going to teach you how we can publish a Power BI Dexter report to Power BI Online Services. So for that, uh, first of all, uh, we need to create a Power BI Desktop report. So this is my Power BI Desktop uh, icon which I downloaded from Microsoft to Power BI site. It's a free software, so we can download this software anytime with no cost. Okay, so once we open, we need to get data to generate a report. So there are several different ways we can get data in uh, from various data sources. So here you can see there are different data sources by which we can pull the data and we can generate some meaningful information and we can create a beautiful report. Uh, so for today's uh, demo, I'm going to create a report uh, using Excel data. So I'm uh, selecting Excel and I'll click here connect. I have an Excel file which I'm going to use to create a report it will take a while okay uh, so in my excel sheet i had this worksheet which I'm going to select and I'll click here, load. So if you want to see the data, you can see it here. And I just want to load my data. So in my previous video, I already depicted uh, what are the ways and what are the steps in order to create a report. Uh, so if you are interested and you want to know more, uh, you can check the description box. I'm going to link there. Okay. So under cat underscore requests, I have several columns here. So today I'm going to create uh, some report, uh, which I'm going to use uh, uh, some uh, visuals. And I'm going to choose this bar chart as well as the pie chart. For these, I just want to select cities, state, and zip code. And on the other hand, for pi, I'm going to choose ID, first name, last name. That's it. So I just want to arrange these visuals so that we can see it in a better way okay so I am just adding single page just to demonstrate uh, so once my report is ready I just want to add uh, two visuals where here uh, when we have we can see first name last name and then the ID and on the other hand in a bar chart, we can see this information city, state, and average uh, range of zip code here. Uh, so there are different color which is depicting different values here. Okay. So now our report is created. So I just want to save my report. So I'll click Control F. catalog so I just want to give this name and uh, by default it will save with this extension as you can see here PBIX is the extension for uh, Power BI report I'll hit save so once it is saved you can see this file is generated 
asterisk dot pbix. So now, once it is saved, now the next step is to publish this report. So on the same uh, ribbon, you can see at the end there is a icon called publish. So we will click publish. As soon as you click publish, it will ask you to select a destination. So here you are seeing some information. It is nothing but it's uh, all the workspaces name which is available in online service, in a Power BI online service. So as you can see here, I have logged into valid uh, credentials here. That's why it is allowing me to uh, select all the workspaces which are available on Power BI services. So I can select any workspaces. If you want to know what is a workspace and uh, how we can create and manage a workspace, please uh, do check out my uh, tutorial, which I'm going to link in the dis description box. You can go and you can learn how we can create a workspace and how we can manage a workspace. Anyways, for this, now I just want to select a workspace. I just want to select my demo workspace. I click select. It will take a short while to publish. Okay, so once it is published, we can see here a success message with the right checkbox uh, here, check mark here. And click got it. So now, with the with the help of desktop Power BI desktop software, we generated a report using Excel. And that report we have published to Power BI online service. Okay, so now we'll go so this is my app.powerbi.com. It's a Power BI online service. Okay, so as you can see here, I have logged in with the same uh, credentials. I have power. Uh, I have a Power BI Pro license here, so that's why I'm able to access this uh, service here. So now, since we have selected a workspace, which was this my demo workspace, you can see here all the workspaces, app workspaces, and uh, these are basically uh, Office 365 groups here. Okay, that's why we are able to see uh, these many different workspaces here. So now we'll go here and select this uh, workspace in order to access the report. So as soon as you select this workspace, there are two ways we can get uh, uh, reports and dashboard. One is, as you, are, as you can see here, there are some many options here where you can, where you can find dashboard, report, workbook, data set and data flow. And under reports, you, you can see our uh, published PBIX file catalog request. You can open it here directly. This is the one way. Another way is that from the left hand side under my demo workspace, under reports, you can find our published reports. So now we'll just uh, see how it looks. Since we added these two visuals so we are able to view it and if you want to make some changes to the existing report you can do this by clicking this button edit report so once you click edit you can see all the fields which you selected so like that you can modify some of the fields so it has been modified Okay, and then if you wish to, you can save this report, you can uh, publish this report to web, you can share this report. So there are so many different couple of ways you can uh, manage this report. So this was the very easiest way uh, how we can export a Power BI desktop report to online service. And... Uh, I hope you find this video tutorial to be helpful and please do subscribe our channel and like this video. It means a lot to me and please do let me know for the future videos what all things you want to see.
uh, I'm trying to I'll, I'll definitely try to uh, get it done for you guys and uh, so that's all for the day uh, thank you so much and have a nice day